Hello everyone, this is Juan from CanHub and welcome to another tutorial. On this one I'm going to be talking about the inner hip muscles. And without keeping you waiting, I'm going to show you here an image of the ventral view of the hip muscles or the inner hip muscles. Now you can also see other muscles including the pelvic diaphragm or muscles of the pelvic diaphragm and the muscles of the anterior thigh and also the adductors. Now let's remove them and show you now, expose you completely the muscles of the inner hip. And on this tutorial we will be talking about the muscles of the inner hip like I mentioned which is a small group of three muscles which include the iliacus, the psoas major, and a relatively rare muscle known as the psoas minor. Now let's move on and before we do so I want to clarify a point here on this slide. And the psoas major and the iliacus are usually referred to as a single muscle known as the iliopsoas. And those two muscles have different origin points and their bellies and tendons merge into one and attach together on the same bony point. We're going to look at that later on when we discuss uh, the psoas major and the iliacus individually. But now you know that from now on when you hear the word iliopsoas muscle you know that we're talking about a combination of two muscles. Before we move on to our tutorial, I want to talk a little bit more about the iliopsoas. And to do so, I'm showing you now the image on the ventral view of the muscle and including here some blood vessels and nerves. Now, what you see here on this image is the psoas major on the subject's right side, on subject's left side and your right side. And here you see also the iliacus. Now on the subject's right side and on your left side on the screen you see only one muscle, the iliacus, and we just removed the psoas major so we can expose here this structure known as the lumbar plexus. Now I wanted to use this image to show you here that the psoas major and also the iliacus, they will unify here on the lateral pelvis and shortly before this ligament here, which is known as the inguinal ligament, they will become then the iliopsoas muscle. And here they pass below the inguinal ligament through the muscular lacuna together with the femoral nerve. Now both muscles are completely surrounded by iliac fascia and the lumbar plexus lies dorsally this video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website. Not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full length video and master anatomy.